What's up guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're checking out the banana watch. So someone actually recreated it so you can use it now. Probably like two years ago it was last release. It never came out on Steam I don't think. But now someone recreated it and you can use it on Steam. You cannot use it on Quest because Quest mods don't work, but... But anyways, let's get into it. So first, um, here's the banana watch. Press it. Press it, the whole thing comes up right here. We have scoreboard, details, disconnect, settings, banana UI, banana arms, cosmetics, and hover monkey. And then on second page, we got the banana platforms. Some of these mods you have to download separately from the actual watch itself. But if you want to get this, uh, I'll put the Discord link in the description. First, we have scoreboard. So in here, just tells you everyone in the lobby. Details, uh, current time, current game version, and current name, and all this stuff. Disconnect, I think this just disconnects you from the lobby when you press it. Settings, has mod status, watch skins, and background skins. So if we go to mod status, this tells you all the mods you have downloaded, which these are all the mods I have. Watch skins, uh, you can get watch skins, you can also get background skins. Banana UI, um, I don't really know what this does. Oh, that's what it does. So basically it just puts a UI telling you all that information. Banana arms. So I am not in a modded lobby because um, my utility that I have doesn't work. Cosmetics. So we have holdables, hats, badges, materials, and settings. Holdables, we have the karambit. You can do this. Equip left or right. I'm going to do left. So here's the karambit. We have mirrors. So you can get a mirror in your hand. Hi. Toggleable flashlight. So this just gives you a flashlight. And uh... For hats, we have the crown, so as you can see, I have the crown on. Next we have gangster hat, um, next we have gangster hat, um, you know. Next we have third person camera, I'm gonna have to go in first person for this. So see, in my POV is a little camera right there and I can see behind me. And then last we have this tiny top hat. Next we have badges, so first we have blue trail, so wherever I go it's a blue trail. Jordans. Um, Jordans, so this is paper painter, it's a little fake finger painter. Guys, I got the finger pan. Next we're going to the materials. First we have camo, so here's the camo. Colorful frame wire, which um, basically if I go like back, see how like, um, so I think it's where, let's do this. So I do this, I put the camera right there and then the farther I go, I start changing colors. Next we have gold, which is just shiny very shiny i look like tin foil next we have matrix so matrix material next we have outline which you guys can't see but there's a little outline around me um actually i think you guys can see it but it's like hard to see oh yeah yeah you can next we have rainbow monkey which now i'm rainbow next we have realistic fur oh this one's glitchy so it only shows up in my left eye but it's like really realistic for i was actually looking forward to this one but it's broken kind of so next we have solid color which now i'm just plain red and then we have tagged uh with the outline so it's like when you're tagged then there's an outline and this is the old ma tagged material i think now we go to the settings which you can do unequipped cosmetics let's say i have the cowboy hat on and i put on the crown It'll basically, I have, I'll have both of them on at the same time. But if I enable that, and I put on the cowboy hat, and then enable the crown, it'll disable the cowboy hat and put on the crown. It's like, oh, like, yeah, you know what I mean. And I think the coolest part about this is I'm pretty sure it works in public lobbies. So I could go into a public lobby and use it. But just don't get reported. One last thing, I think when you go to your settings, and you go to mod status, I think in here you can enable and disable mods. So see I have the subscribe thing right there, um, it says disabling subscribe might cause an instability which I think means that if I disable it I cannot re-enable it. But anyways, I'll see you in the next one, make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, and click that like button. I'll see you in the next one, and peace.